McConnell said moments ago that he spoke with President Biden yesterday and told the president that the national security supplemental has to have what he called a credible border solution to be able to pass the Senate. First of all, do you have, does the White House have any readout of uh, that conversation? So I don't have a readout of that conversation, as you know, the president being, having been vice president and, of course, a senator uh, for uh, 36 years. He has many relationships uh, with folks in Congress, just don't have anything to read out. He has a very close working relationship, obviously, uh, with Leader uh, McConnell. What I will say is I know that, uh, and as you all have reported, uh, the Senate did, uh, the Senate Republicans did push forward uh, a border uh, security security uh, legislation. Uh, we certainly uh, think that if they are going to be serious, then they should have a serious conversation with us about it. Uh, it is not something that we see it as that particular legislation they put forward as being all that serious. Uh, and we have been very clear. There's a reason why the president included a supplemental that had border security, right? And if they are, if they want to have that conversation, uh, you know, we would love to have that conversation on how we uh, can move forward in a real way, or they should just support uh, what the president uh, put forward. Uh, and so um, we just don't see anything in their proposal about creating, for example, an earned path to citizenship for DREAMers and others. There are things that are fundamentally missing, and we want to have a serious conversation, but we need to see something a lot more serious uh, than what they put forward. Right. So obviously the White House doesn't like that specific proposal yesterday, but is the White House open to any sort of policy changes as it relates to the border in conjunction with the supplemental? Are you only entertaining negotiations on the funding side of border issues? So look, as it relates to the border, uh, You've heard us say time and time again, our immigration system is broken. It's been broken for some time now, for decades. Uh, and Congress, they have the power to change that. They have the power to put to forth a comprehensive piece of legislation, like the president did on his first day uh, in this administration, putting forth a comprehensive immigration uh, legislation. And so they can address it. Only they can do that. And so, uh, look, we, that's, uh, we want to have a serious conversation. We want to be able to talk to Republicans and see how we move forward in a real way. But, you know, uh, we believe that if Congress is serious, they should fund what the president put forward. And that's how we believe should be moved forward, how we should move forward on this. Uh, but this, they're not serious. What we saw from Senate Republicans is not a serious uh, piece of legislation to move forward. Is sort of serious policy conversation possible in the next two or so weeks? I mean, look, I'm not going to negotiate from the podium here, but what I can say is that the president took this very seriously when it comes to a broken uh, immigration system, put forth a, a comprehensive piece of uh, legislation to deal with this. He obviously included this in his emergency supplemental border security, and we're asking uh, Congress to fund that if they are going to be very serious as it relates to policy changes. Look, the president already put forth what he believes uh, how to, to move forward in fixing a broken uh, immigration system, a, a system that that has uh, that has been broken under a, a Democratic president and also a Republican president. 